Hello everyone, Aziz here, and in this two-part video tutorial series, I'm going to show you how you can create mobile landing pages using Dreamweaver. So, let's get started. Now, because these are landing pages for mobile devices, we want to make sure that we're using jQuery Mobile. Now, I've gone ahead ahead of time, and I've copied out some of the code that I'm going to use for this particular landing page. Next, I'm going to create a style tag so that I can put some rules within this. Although I'm using jQuery Mobile, I'm using a few of my own rules so I can make this more customized. Then, I want everything to be snug, so my first rule is going to apply to everything. With that, there's going to be a padding of 0 pixels and a margin of 0 pixels. Then, I'm going to create a clear rule, and this will apply later on. We don't need to talk about it right now. After that, I'm going to go into my body tag and I'm going to insert a jQuery mobile page widget. This is going to allow me to include other things like headers, footers, and a collapsible block, which I'm going to use later on. After I've pasted that in, I'm actually going to first delete out this content here because I'm not going to really need that. Next, I'm going to label this page because things might get a little bit complicated later and I want to make sure that I'm labeling all of my div tags. Additionally, I'm going to change the ID name of this to main page. This is going to help me, again, keep everything in line. Next, I'm going to go ahead and insert the header that I have. It's just a very plain header. It's the name of the offer that is going to be running for this particular landing page. And after I've labeled that, I'm going to create a rule for this header. I'm just going to paste in some code that I previously had, but just to take a quick look, it's going to be aligned in the center with a black background and a white text. So there we have our header. Next, I'm going to create a div tag for my strap line. So first, I'm just going to create a new div, then I'll just close that out and label it. And then within that div, I already have some code that I saved from before to save some time. And in that, I have an image, some text, and a nice little call to action. So if I go over to refresh, this is what we get. Now we want to apply some rules to this so it looks a little bit neater. So for the strap line, we have a couple of rules that will center it, give it a, pix give it a margin of 15 pixels on the top and bottom, along with a set width of 300 pixels and a height of 100 pixels. But that image is still too large, so I've created a rule for that image in particular as well. Now this image will be set at 80 pixels will float to the left and will have a margin of the right of 10 pixels. Thus everything is nice and centered. Then actually what I want to do is make my CTA stand out. So I'm first going to apply a hyperlink to that. And then I'm going to add a center tag to this particular call to action. So over here I'll just create a tag called center and then we'll close it out with center. It's just a nice way to have my CTA stand out from everything else. Next, I want to create some bullet points for my landing page. So right away, I'm going to insert a couple of collapsible blocks. Now, as you can see, there are a few different headlines. This is going to give me about three different bullet points. And if I go over to Live View, you'll see that we get something like this, where you just click on the header and you get some content that drops down. So first I'm going to replace all of these headers with a uh, more specific bullet point. So for the top, I'm going to have card motorcycle accidents, since this is for personal injury help. For the middle bullet point, I'm going to have boat and truck accidents. And lastly, for the last little bullet point in the H3 tag, I'm going to include a bicycle and mass transit injury. Now, whenever I refresh, and I go over to the drop down, we now see our headlines will drop down to some content. And we'll fill in that content later on. But for now, we'll just leave it the way it is. Next, I want to add a footer at the bottom of my page. So I'll just create a div. We'll go data roll footer. And once we create that, we'll close that out real quick. And then make sure we label everything just to keep everything in line. And then within that footer, I'm going to paste in some code. Now this is just going to be a basic call to action that's going to have some space on the left, some space on the right, and a nice call now in the middle. So then if we go to live view, we get something that looks like this. Nice and spaced out, something that really pops out at the user. 
Well everyone, thank you for watching. This is part one of how to create a mobile landing page of Dreamweaver. Please stay tuned for part two to figure out other ways you can customize your own mobile optimized landing pages. Thank you very much and take care.